Good morning. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to do a real quick video on resizing. And if you've been following me through my sew art learning journey, you'll see that um, I've probably shown you a few different ways and times to um, save and uh, or resize. And um, I'm just going to show you all three ways. And all three ways are just fine. They're all fantastic. So let me show you really quick. So I'm going to go up here to open and I'm going to open a picture that I know I'm just going to open a silhouette. Okay. So let's see, paid for clip art. Let's do the black dog JPEG. Let's see. I spent some time with a little Chihuahua mix over Thanksgiving and his name was Nubs and he's so cute. So I'm going to choose this guy. And because it's a big file, it's a big JPEG and it, I don't know why, but it has all this black space. It takes a few minutes to open. So be patient. I'm go ahead and click OK. And we're going to crop out all of that background and um, really isolate the dog. Okay, so let's zoom out, 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 out. And let's hit crop and zoom a little bit more. Okay, we can even bring it in even more <clears throat> close to the ear. Okay, and hit this button again for crop. Okay, and then now let's zoom back out to 100. So right down here, it's gonna show us the width and the height. And um, for my hoop, it's way too big. So I have to resize this if I wanna work on it. So the resize button is this button right here, this blue button, and you're gonna click on it and you can type in, um, you know, the max width and height for your specific hoop. For mine, it's comfortable to stay at about 3.9. Okay. Oh, and because the height is bigger, we actually want to change the height to 3.9 and it will automatically change the bottom. So, and if you click lock aspect ratio, it will let you change it. You know, it'll let you fatten the dog, you know, shorten him and make him wider and stuff like that. So, okay, let's click OK. And that's going to be one way that we can resize. Okay. And this is before we do any kind of wizard or posturize or color reduction or anything else. So that was resizing right off the cuff. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and go back to that size. I'm not going to re go back and do the crop, but we're just going to go back to that size of 7.4 and 8.23. And we're going to go ahead and do the color reduction. You can do the wizard, but that just is a long way around just doing this. Two. Okay. So now you just have two colors and then you can go in and here do your 3.9. And I forgot that I need to do that. Okay, and then you can resize then. Another time to resize, <clears throat> and sometimes, you know, this really helps you get all of your work done, and then you can resize at the very end while you can see everything really good and up close. So that's a benefit, and the benefit is sometimes you just forget to resize while you're doing all of your work. So let's go back to where we were. All right, well, actually, we didn't need to do that. Let's just go ahead and Go back to two colors and we're going to go to stitch image while it's still big. Okay. Stitch list. Oh, no, because I've already played with this. All right. So it's going to come up here in the stitch image screen and it's going to give us the fill, the regular default, the auto. So you can go ahead and do auto. sew with this, I generally go straight to just clicking what I want to work. So um, you can do that. Or you can do auto sew image, which you can go sew all colors and that'll sew the white and the black. Or you can do set transparent color, which is the preferred method because it makes the background um, irrelevant. Okay, thank you. So as you can see, doing it manually was a whole lot faster. 
So I'm just going to click that button. And then now here we'll go into File, Save As, like we're finished with it. But then you remember, oh no, I didn't resize it. That's okay. Hit Cancel. And I'm going to name this Nubs. And right down here, I'm going to make sure that it's my my version or my kind of um, file that I need for my machine. And the dis design scale factor is they have at the size that it is right now is one, you know, in that language. And the pattern size is too big. So I'm going to try to half it. So I'm going to put 0.5. And that makes it still too big. So I'm going to go point. Four. And it's all just about, you know, trying to figure out that perfect number. And then, um, and then, you know, you can change any of this kind of stuff, but since it's just one color, I don't need to worry about any of that. And now that it's, it's small. So I hit save. I'm going to save it to my desktop. I'm going to save nubs. And there he goes. Okay. All right. So if you have any more questions, please let me know. Thanks again for joining me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.